here's what's new this morning. Upgrades to popular biking trails here in the upstate will soon be complete. The Swamp Rapid Trail is a 22-mile route from Traveler's Rest to Greenville. Yeah, the new extension of Swamp Rabbit Trail will expand another four and a half miles southeast in Greenville. That's including the new pedestrian bridges and the pathways there. Fox Carolina's Lindsay Gibbs. She's live in Greenville this morning with a look at what we can all expect. Good morning, and we've been taking you along the Swamp Rabbit Trail extension all morning long. We want to show you where the trail crosses Verde Boulevard. You can see this is where the new pedestrian crosswalk is already mostly set up. They have those stoplights in there for traffic, so people are able to cross here. This is actually right before you head to the roundabout that leads you over to Lawrence Road. That's right behind me, but I do want to show you where they have part of the trail closed off over here. And this is going to be where Swamp Rabbit Trail has uh, kind of ended this extension, but this is all part of a much larger plan for the four and a half mile stretch that runs from downtown Greenville to Cleveland Park uh, in Cleveland Park to Clemson University ICAR. The trail called the Paperclip will connect you from Cleveland Park to Lawrence Road and then two new pedestrian bridges along Haywood Road and Lawrence Road are actually nearly complete waiting on pavement and railings. There's also again a pedestrian crossing here on Verde and the city plans on adding three connections to the trail from Nicoltown, Gower and Verde. We've been following this project every step of the way since the planning began in 2019. This project will give people more access to restaurants, parks, and local businesses directly from their neighborhoods. According to a study from the area, the city, uh, they say that this is going to impact nearly 18,000 people. That's about 7,000 households within a mile of the trail. Now, the city says they're planning on finishing the pedestrian bridges, overpasses, and crosswalks. And once that is complete, it will be open to the public. They're they're expected to finish that by the end of this month. For now, here in Greenville, Lindsay Gibbs, Fox Carolina News.